Okay, YouTubers, I'm going to call this day three. Uh, I have done a ton on polishing the chrome and getting uh, all of the ooh, uh, rust off of it. I just lightly touched this. You can actually still see the rust in here, but this was all that rusty. Um, I actually used... Uh, Diet Coke and aluminum foil. Um, the never dull stuff is awesome. Uh, but for heavy rust, you just sit there and polish and polish and polish forever and ever and ever. Um, the Diet Coke uh, and aluminum foil seems to uh, hit the heavy rust better. Uh, so you can see there uh, the tubes going up into the cylinders. Um, I spent a long time doing those with the Neverdoll and the Coke uh, product just took it right off. So, um, really cool, nice, cheap way to do it. Uh, I got a, in case you didn't see here, this is a reproduction. So this was missing. Uh, I was trying to start it um, and I was looking for my kill switch to see where that was and there was none uh, so I think some of the wiring that these guys were trying to do in here uh, that I showed earlier with the speaker wire was to try to bypass uh, the kill switch there's a kill switch and there's a an on off switch uh, kills the motor um, so uh, I spent uh, Quite a bit of time actually you can see my uh, notes that I printed out from the service manual tracing back the lines making sure everything was hooked up right uh, check my ohms on the coils they came out fine um, came around here and started going through this mess and traced it out Found some errors that these guys had made or had swapped out for whatever reason. Um, so I spent a good part of the day working on the electrical, uh, which I think I've got right. Um, back down here, you can kind of see there were some more. I got some more bullet size uh, connectors here and hooked them up. They were all taped before. Um, I still don't know what this goes to. I don't know if I'm missing something or what, so I'm really perplexed. Um, the regulator and rectifier are underneath the battery, so they're there. Um, underneath the this, uh, there's a cable that you can see right here that goes underneath here to tail light, so that doesn't connect to tail light. Um, and I've looked at the diagram till I'm blue in the face. Uh, green, black, and brown wire. Uh, so I'll look again at the diagrams tomorrow with fresh eyes uh, and see if I can figure out where that goes. When I power it on, I can hear the uh, relay in here click. You can hear flasher relay. So that's kind of cool. Uh, again, polished up down here, really polished uh, on that coil that's spraying back down here. Uh, and it just shines. And uh, actually, I need to spend some time getting the shrubbery out of my garage, but <clears throat> too busy working on the bike. But uh, yeah, you can see that chrome is really starting to pop. There's a lot of chrome on this bike. Um, so uh, the other thing I did was um, I had the gas tank in uh, apple cider vinegar for about a week. Um, turned it one way and then turned it the other. You know, turned it one way, left it for 24 hours, and turned it around. Um, and anyway, uh, bunches and bunches of gunk came out of there when I cleaned it out. Smelled like holy hell. Um, especially with the uh, uh, apple cider vinegar. But I wasn't happy uh, with the results. Uh, it did get a whole bunch out of there. Um, 
So what I did today, and I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see down there or not. I'm going to say no. Um, so what I did today was I uh, just got a jug of muriatic acid. Um, it's a use it to clean pools. Uh, but they sell at the hardware store too. It's $7 a gallon. Uh, and uh, basically, you know, cleaned everything out of there. And then I poured in about a half a gallon uh, in there and spent 15 minutes just flopping it one side and flopping it the other and moving it all around. You, you do want to take a lot of precaution because it's, it's a very concentrated acid and it will burn your skin, unlike, you know, other things you might use in the garage. So I used gloves and I used a mask because it smells too. I did it outside uh, and it, yeah, just nukes the rest of the rust. So 15 minutes, muriatic acid, it's gone. Um, then I uh, flooded it with water, high pressure hose, just to get everything out of there. Um, then empty the water out of there real quick. And then before it had a chance to flash rust, I pour, uh, poured some gas in there and just sloshed it around, took it out. Uh, so then I let it, uh, yeah, 15, 20 minutes, uh, let it rest and uh, out in the hot sun and evaporate everything out of there. Uh, and it did a really good job. And then I just took some Tim W30, I don't know, maybe four or five ounces. Um, poured it in there and turned it around just to coat it um, so that it won't re-rust. Um, what I did find when I was starting to work on this, you can kind of maybe see here, um, it looks like this tank has got a lot of bonding on it, which I never really, get my key on here, I never really noticed before until I start work on it. I think down here, I took the uh, pet cop off, uh, and you can see, I thought this was uh, all just old pitted metal, to be honest with you. Never paid any attention, but I uh, started putting brake cleaner and stuff to clean it off, because I was going to put this uh, blue tape on here. And uh, this is all Bondo, so that concerns me a little bit. I don't see anything really pitted. Uh, inside it, there's some more spilled over here on the sides. Um, so yeah, I don't know what I don't know right now. I might uh, strip that. I've got that aircraft uh, stripper I think I showed earlier. Uh, and see what kind of shape that tank really is in uh, once I get uh, get the paint off. Um, but did that, you know, that took an hour or so uh, today. Cleaned up the garage a lot, if you can see that. We got the brake, the front brake off. Took the front brake off. Um, took the wires down. Uh, took the caliper off. Uh, the hoses, rather. Took the front caliper off. And uh, got... Uh, here's the caliper here. I kind of have it soaking a little bit. It's in really pretty good shape. Uh, there is some rust uh, down in there around, and you can't really see it, but around the uh, uh, the cylinder there. Uh, let me take a look. Here, I'll show you. I'm going to put all the brake lines and everything in here. Uh, I did have to clear these brake lines. Um, most of them, uh, a little bit of DOT fluid did come out, uh, but they were pretty clogged. And what I ended up doing was taking, I think I've already thrown it away, but uh, just took some uh, the 14-2 electric wire that you use. And that center ground wire that you see in there is just a thin copper wire. So split that open about maybe took 14 inches and took out that center copper wire. I used it along with uh, 
uh, just WD-40 and went down that center hole there and you just, you know, push, 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 pull out, spray, push, 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 push pull out, spray, push, 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 uh, little by little. And that took several hours uh, to get through uh, these two sections of line, but it cleared up fine. My spray brake cleaner down there, I mean, it just comes out just like it should. Uh, there's no cracks, no tears, no bulges, nothing in these brake lines. Um, so I think I'm gonna reuse them. Um, I did uh, also, I looked at my master cylinder. Uh, I need to, I was looking at doing a rebuild kit and can't even see the piston in there. So it's down there. Uh, basically a master cylinder rebuild kit is like 30 bucks. I think it was 35. Um, I can buy a reproduction master cylinder that includes the handle, everything for 55. Um, so I think rather than rebuild it, especially since, uh, I bought a reproduction here, a kill switch. I think I'm just going to replace that uh, that whole lever 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 up here with the uh, a reproduction master cylinder. Brake pads look amazing. So I think somebody had done a brake job at some point. At least replaced the uh, pads here, uh, but they're not hardly worn at all. Uh, Here's your caliper. Uh, this one looks really good. The other one, I think I've got it soaking over here actually. Looks like it might have a uh, chip in it, uh, but I'm soaking it. So I still need to do some cleanup parts. Again, just ran the copper uh, wire through this thin tubing and it cleared out all the gunk. Uh, and everything. Here's the uh, caliper gaskets. Uh, so I ordered some new uh, caliper rebuild kit. That was not bad. Like Twenty bucks. Uh, oh, this is the top top that I've taken off. So I'm gonna get a new gaskets for it as well. Put it back together. Um, so that's about where I am. Uh, I've tried to get spark uh, on it. Just put in the, remember, you can see here. Uh, I used the old, uh, I've got the new one already seated in there, but the old spark plugs. Just see if I can get some arc going. And I'm not seeing any arc yet. So I need to double check a thing, uh, a couple things, make sure I'm in neutral because there's a neutral switch, blah, 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 blah. Um, but I'm starting to make headway. So that's where she is for right now. Um, I'm looking at a bunch of parts. Uh, I found a place online, HVC Cycle, uh, that has, um, they specialize in these older two strokes. Um, so, uh, I've got maybe $150 in parts. So that includes like the rebuild kits, uh, that I'm talking about here, the new, uh, uh, brake, uh, master cylinder, all of that. Um, so yeah, I think, uh, we'll do that. I still have to, uh, find myself a new headlight up here. Uh, the original gauges. Um, I want to get a new uh, throttle cable. I just don't like the way this one looks. Um, it's got a broken uh, tri-member in there. It's just a little plastic piece, but still, I just don't like the way it looks. Plus, somebody replaced the upper with a, a gray one instead of black one. Uh, probably just my OCD kicking in there. 
Uh, oh, that's it. I'm going to get new condenser, new points. So I haven't opened that up yet. So I'm going to go ahead and replace those. Um, I'm thinking that might have something to do with my spark as well. Uh, just to make sure. So uh, getting ready to order some more parts. And then, then hopefully they'll be in for next weekend. Uh, and I'll get to spend another day working on it. Uh, tomorrow I might, you know, polish a little bit more chrome. I, like I said, I got this spring here. Uh, but I haven't touched the spring over here other than with the new stuff and you can kind of see it's got a bunch of yellow down here and some darker gray or uh, rusted pits in there. Uh, and then I'll, you know, I got to do the back brakes. I got to take the drum brake off there, check those, realign. Uh, I haven't really polished the chrome on the wheels at all uh, with the rims uh, and the spokes. Um, so yeah, just a lot of cleaning and uh, troubleshooting right now, but I am very anxious. I, I put new oil in it, so the oil's all ready to go whenever I'm ready to fire it up. Um, so I am getting real anxious to turn this over and uh, hear it purr, but... At the same time, I'm trying not to rush myself so that I do a really crappy job. But that's it for day three. Thank you guys.